Nitrous Express safe system. Check it out. With the custom made battery bracket or battery slash mount. Welcome guys. Welcome back to another episode here on the Abrito Speech channel, man. My name's Eric, for those of you who are new. And uh, I got a new one. I got an update for you guys. As you guys know, I'm in the process of uh, getting a turbo and busting my hump to get that ASAP, man. I need to, I need, to, I need to get back in this thing and rip it. Uh, update quick on this: Mustang's running. Uh, I just took out the air intake to give it a quick clean, give it an inspection, make sure it all looks good. I do need to go get uh, some throttle body bolts here. The, these come with the, uh, come with the plate, so that so they're a little extended. I think these are 60 millimeters long m6 1.0 uh they're meant to fit with the throttle plate uh with the nitrous so now but now that i took that off i need a smaller one so about a 50 i need uh so i need to get those that's the only thing i need to get running uh batteries are relocating the back so don't worry about that gap there but other than that man uh mustang is gonna get running by this weekend that way i could drive it around keep the fluids going all that stuff uh i'm gonna bring you a video today explaining my uh, standalone fuel system to be quite honest is one of the best ways i think to run nitrous it makes it so much easier in my opinion yeah you gotta invest a little bit more but it makes the process so much easier and it's so safe so they call it the safe system by nitrous express and i'll get into that but it's awesome i'm gonna go over the wiring harness how to connect it what it does and uh and that's it man i hope you guys enjoy it Hey, look who's here, Wayne Ho. Hey, hey. <laughs> he's back. Yeah. It's hot out here in Cali, huh? Man, hot as hell. <laughs> man, it's hot out here. All right, guys, like I said, man, I'm going to go over my Nitrous Express SAFE system, the standalone fuel enrichment system. They call it a, an acronym, is SAFE, S A F E. Uh, just to get in real quick, if you saw my video last, uh, the last couple of days explaining the wiring harness in my purge it's essentially the same thing uh but obviously it's it's two, two different types of things the purge is obviously the purge clear the lines up this is to get the fuel pump going so when you shoot nitrous it shoots in with it and it goes straight into the plate and i'll explain that with you guys and uh, shortly so for example to start off with uh mounting it you have a, a s550 mustang uh when i was mounting this thing it wasn't really quite just a quick fit in the battery tray you had to modify so this is the old oem battery tray i did chop it up a little bit my brackets are on here but once you do that this thing just bolts right into your where your existing battery uh, tray was or is it still is but now it's just a mount for your fuel cell so if you have a s550 mustang be prepared to do a little bit of cutting i think i used the dremel remember i used the dremel we're yeah, great cut right through it lot. cut right through it yeah i can clean it up it was a little dirty but for the most part it's solid, doesn't move, it's it's perfect. So that's mounting it. Once you mount it, you gotta wire it up. And like I said in my previous last video, I would recommend running a relay with the inline fuse to protect your stuff. If something busts, it's gonna pop that fuse and then you can just go in there and replace it or check the system to see what's going on, why it's popping. But this is a lifesaver and they're inexpensive. I think I bought all these fuses here for about 10 bucks. And it came with five of them. So cheap insurance, they call it. Cheap insurance. Cheap insurance. Cheap insurance. So like I said, okay, look, this is the power. Power's the relay. From the relay, you have to have ground. This is it right here. This is my ground cable. You can make it whatever color you want. You just use white just because that's all I had at the moment. But that's ground. This is power. And this here obviously powers the fuel cell. I still have it connected right into the fuel cell powers the fuel cell and this one here these long one went into my cab and it was powered well turned on told to turn on by the switch here i know it says opener here but i wired it to turn on my fuel cell so when i flick this switch drove power to the relay it was already getting power it has ground told the fuel cell to, uh, to power on and of course the fuel cell needs to be grounded and this one grounded to my chassis or somewhere on your frame body to get ground so that's pretty much it. it looks confusing i know 
some uh, some of you guys were like, oh, man, you, you uh, one of my last videos was like, someone, man, you're talking in a different language. But once you get the gist of it, basically my whole entire nitro system is run like this. Each system is ran with the inline fuse and relay, and it works great. And I ran it for two years with no problems. I think just one time I had a problem with my purge relay. Uh, I went out because moisture got in it because I had it mounted too close to the wheel well. And moisture was getting in moisture. That's the only reason why that went out. But other than that, this nitro system lasted time, man. Time after time after time after time. Matter of fact, fuel solenoids went out. Nitro solenoids went out before the wiring system. So if you just invest a little bit of time on this stuff, it's going to last you a long, long time. You just got to just keep checking it, you know, keep checking it. All right, so once you get that wired up, obviously you have your... your fuel pressure regulator here this is in good i didn't run i wanted to run a fuel pressure to my cap so i can check it from in there but i didn't if you guys get into this i would recommend running a fuel pressure gauge to your cab that way you don't have to get out of the car and always check it you adjust it through here just yeah you have like a little uh crescent adjust it and you adjust it with the allen there and then from here all looking even is boost reference there you can even run boost with this thing so this might you know it's might be useful if i don't have to get rid of it i won't get rid of it it might work well with uh with my night with my uh turbo small jet get it going but who knows let's see let's just get the turbo first from here the fuel line went out and then from this fuel line it went straight to that fuel solenoid here matter of fact here it is this is the line where it went through so it went connected there ran to the fuel the fuel went it engages what through the window switch is telling it to shoot nitrous it shoots it into the throttle plate the coyote plate in here and that's when the the coyote plate does its job mixes in the nitrous and fuel and then you go fast <laughs> and then you go pretty fast so that's just a quick low down of the nitrous express 15004 part number uh now what i i had to upgrade my fuel pump in it inside of it uh, because the other one was only able to flow methanol and gasoline. Now the one I got flows all three. Methanol, gasoline, and ethanol. I hear the new ones come ready to flow ethanol. I had bought this, this, this fuel cell about two years ago. But I hear they just upgraded about three to four months ago. And now it runs all three. So you're getting all three uh, from now if you buy a new uh, 15004 part number. Nitrous Express fuel system with a regulator and internal pump. And you'll be able to flow ethanol and you'll be able to run uh, whatever type of basic type of fuel you're going to use. That's pretty much what's used out in the game right now, those three. Uh, and other than that, man, that's it. It went mounted here. Right in here. Now i got a bunch of room to push, put something in there if I don't use that. And if I do reuse that fuel, so it's going to go in the rear. It's going to go in the trunk. It's not going to go there no more. So I'm going to have that space to run something. Uh, but other than that, that's about it. A quick little i guess review of the nx15004 safe system if you have any questions don't hesitate to uh message comment i hope any guys out i remember when i was building this wiring harness a lot of people helped me out so i'm returning the favor and i hope you guys out if you need it but other than that stay tuned hopefully all my turbo stuff gets and comes in very very quick and we get rocking so there's Wayne. Hey, and I'm always on hand to help. <laughs> yeah, Wayne's gonna help. <laughs> Although, remember that one time I almost dropped my whole subframe on my ass? And yeah. without, dude, it would've fell on me yeah. if you weren't here. Yeah. So I got lucky it was here. This little throat curl in there. Now let's go, let's go make a TikTok and drink a nice cold beer. <laughs> <laughs>